So was, this has been a hard day. But we got it. We got all the old bolts out of it, which was a pain in the butt. We got a piece of brass hold up underneath, and we started welding the hose back shut. Stevie and uh, Devin was doing that. See how they're all. See how they're welding. Well, they was full of hose. This trailer had been through the floor that it was on. It was the second floor, and I think they had run the first round. They had run this where the floor all tore up for a little while. So a lot of these little chintzy cross members are bent up pretty bad. But I, I figured we'd straighten them out best we could, check for cracks, and uh, just refloor it. And the next round, we'll actually do something about it. But this round, we're just going to turn it and use Because we don't use... I think, you know, when they buy these trailers new, uh, they run that dog snot out of them. But now, us, we just move equipment from time to time, you know. So we don't run the dog snot out of it. So floor lasts us a lot longer. So, I mean, the floor wasn't in the best shape when we got it, but it, we made it like two years or so with it, you know. We got a shift flat, and uh, this bevel here is going to slide up underneath the frame rail. And them are the nine inches, and they go on the outside on both sides. And they're cut like this. So the next board that goes beside them is cut like a Z. And that's your wide one, so that's going to cover most of the gap. And then at the end, the board that goes over there is not going to have any. It's just going to be smooth cut. And it'll have one ship lap side over here. So it'll only be like a five-inch wide board to do the finish with one nail in it. You know, but it's on the inside of both, you know, so tires and heavy traffic be on the sides. But they turned out pretty good. Pretty happy with them. You got the dodo blade or whatever they call it and on the table saw. And uh, so you're basically seeing the two logs right here. This was the first log and this was out of the second log. And they uh, live sawed them instead of uh, boxing a heart. See where the heart is on this? See how their growth rings are? So you just stood them up and normally we box a heart. We keep the heart, we flip, cut, flip, cut, flip, cut. We keep the, the heart box and you keep your defect pattern to one, you know, to some lesser nasty boards. But figured we'd live saw it uh, because I'm gonna use the whole log up and they saw them popping instead of wide oak anyway. I didn't wanna be a pain in the butt. So, but that was two First logs. First log was a butt log. It figured it about both 10 footers. And I say the butt log had, I think I scaled it and had 160. Feet, board feet in it. The second log was a hundred. Second log was like 80 feet, maybe. No, about 80 feet, 60 to 80 foot log. And uh, that's what it took to get what we need. And we're just got enough to get the job done. We didn't cut one board extra. This is, we got to clean this up and edge these to run the, uh, them's going to be what the narrow strips are, but we'll have to end up cutting two couple boards out of this wide piece out of five quarter to do that. And this is a four quarter set up for the inside, you know, and it'll take every bit of that. And then there's Stevie's boards. He needs 16 foot and that's 20 foot. So he, he will have some waste on Stevie's boards, but uh, yeah. So that's, that's basically uh, 200 and, 200 and uh, what? 200 and probably 230 feet, 240 feet of wide oak sawed straight through to get what we got. Uh, heart and all on both logs. I ain't got this, I ain't got this one here stacked to where you can see the heart good. Here's the heart. And uh, here's the other part of the heart. I bet it's on the bottom board on this side. Uh, you can't see with this flag in a way, but yeah, it's kind of there. I, I can't see it real good. Oh, oh no, it's on the low boy. Yeah, you can see the pit center right there. Yeah, so here's the other heart log, heart board. Yeah, you see the heart in it right here. But uh, it was live sawed too. 
So, uh, but I'll well, show now, you. wait a minute. I'll do this. Okay, so to, uh, so what we got is we got a G bit, I believe. We got G bits for drilling the holes, and then here's our three inch by five sixteenths torx head. And there should be some torch bits in here too. I guess you put them in with these G bits. It feels like there's more than just a couple drill bits in here. Yeah. And our Jasper bolt and screw, they set us up with all we need. Drill now, as these bolts go in, those of you ain't familiar with it, they make their own threads as they go in. See. So you lube them up. The only thing you got to do is uh, on the boards. I usually drill. You don't have to, but on the boards I drill a bigger hole on the boards. So it's the bolts a little bit loose, so you can kind of sink that head in enough to accommodate for wear, so you don't break the heads off once you wear your boards down a little bit. We'll try to get the countersink heads down below the deck, the height of these which the board sticks above a little bit, you know? Anyways, I'll shut up and make sure this stuff's off. It's cool down time. Son of a buck. Works pretty good.